It consumes you still, as it did back then in the 80s. You were immersed in, in Gaelic football, and uh, once you got that Dublin jersey on, it was an addiction because you always wanted to go and win an All-Ireland. I think uh, it's just the love of the sport I was brought up in it. Uh, my father and my, his grandfather was involved in Crow Park. So there was lots of little things that were pulling me towards that. Uh, I loved watching Dublin in, in 1974 coming on to win that All-Ireland. If that team of 74 didn't come about, maybe we might not have made it on. We might not have had the desire. So uh, I would definitely say that uh, the desire uh, of that team of 74, um, I've no doubt inspired me as is the team of uh, 2015 going to inspire many more young kids to do it in the future. It is an addiction because, you know, certainly when we were in school, because I was a free taker, I used to be always doing extra training because you'd be up and you'd be kicking, just trying to perfect your, your kicking skills as such. I think it's miles apart. I think what we did back then was totally different. We probably would have felt as fit as we ever did back then. And we were fit. And uh, I must say the fellas nowadays uh, are physically stronger. I would say they're, they're physically able to go longer. Uh, their endurance is an awful lot longer. But they probably won't last as long. They would have started maybe at 18 and finished at 36. I think the lads who now start at 18 might just finish at 30. I think it was a little bit tougher in many ways. There was a few late tackles would have come in. Uh, I think the rules now have tightened up. I think that uh, you would have got away with a little bit more back then. You can be sanctioned after it now, whereas back then, you know, the cameras weren't that quick. The first match I played outside of Dublin, we played against Offaly. I played against Eugene Mullick at that stage, who had won two All-Irelands. I came up against him thinking I was a young lad, he was near the end of it. But he gave me a rude awakening and he gave me a, a few bells where I wasn't expecting bells. And uh, it probably woke me up and uh, said, listen, everything is not going to be as easy as you think. And uh, it probably developed me well in the hardness end. Uh, I remember one instant, one of the lads, you know, who was known to have a few cigarettes. You know, and at uh, half time he was under a bit of pressure. Next of all, you'd see him over in the far corner, he'd be lighting and puffing at a cigarette, you know. Not the dumb thing that would be done now. I suppose like everything, it, it gives you a buzz. If you don't get a buzz out going to matches, there's no point going. Naturally, you would get nervous because I was so involved. Just keep your fingers crossed that everything goes well, and I think that's the only thing you can do. Sitting up in the stand, you're looking at, you would be nervous for every catch, every kick. You certainly hear Hill 16 from behind you, the claps and the boos or whatever it may be. I think it's something that you get used to. You will get used to the crowd. But if you put it over or you put it wide, you'd either hear the claps or you'd hear the groans. You would hear the volume of people. Just everything just lifted and you, know, you felt uh, 10 foot tall. We probably lapped it up a little bit. It's much better to play in front of a full stadium than a half stadium. You know, you go out there and everybody goes out to win and the Dublin team is no different than anybody else. And when they're on top, the supporters really get behind them. But when they're a pint or two down, I think that's when the, the real supporters have to get going and have to really give them a bit of a, a, a G up, you know, to inspire them. And, you know, realistically, the supporters do inspire. Uh, but it's on the field of play that the lads have to go out and inspire themselves. So the inspiration comes from the players, but uh, certainly I think that the supporters, you know, should add that little bit extra to inspire the players uh, if they're a pint or two down.